Start Rhinoceros and display the open panel in the Rhino Startup dialog. Open the Orlovitz.3dm file located in the demo files. Rhino and Grasshopper example files. Orlovitz folder. Position Rhino at the left part of your screen. Start Grasshopper by typing Grasshopper into the Rhino command line. And position Grasshopper on the right side of the screen. Open the Orlovitz.gh file from Grasshopper, located in the same folder as shown above. Display the entire Grasshopper canvas to view the entire code. Please notice that the Grasshopper code can be divided into two main parts. The first part of the code calculates the facade contours on a horizontal plane. The architect started the algorithmic design process by defining building locations, circles, and the boundaries of trees and roads, curves, as inputs. You can use the View button in Grasshopper to change between the predefined views. Click on the arrow instead of the eye icon itself, then choose the named view from the drop-down. Clicking on the eye icon will result in adding a new view. Display the Building Zones view from the list. Click on the Curve component in Grasshopper to highlight the building zones in Rhino. Possible view directions of every building were investigated to get the appropriate building contours, as you can see in the View Line Conflicts view. The designers started rays from the center of buildings in every direction, looking for collisions with obstacles, such as trees, roads, and other buildings. Click on the Intersections view, and subsequently select the Parameter Trim tree on your Grasshopper canvas as shown on the screen, to highlight the view lines in Rhino. The architect used a method that is similar to ray casting, but he used triangles instead of rays to obtain a more accurate result. Now display the ARCHICAD view in Grasshopper. The second part of the code defines detailed BIM elements and places them in ARCHICAD. At the end of each definition, there are ARCHICAD components. The building contour, which was computed in the first phase, was used to generate a timber structure at the bottom of the upper slabs as well. The segments of the facade that face objects that are blocking the views will generate shade. The dynamic shape of the shade is based on its relationship with north. If the facade faces north, the shade is closed completely. Towards the east and the west, the shades open slightly to allow the shallow sun rays of winter in, while providing shade from the steeper summer rays. The shade is fully open when facing south because the angle of sun rays is steeper from the south. The algorithm calculates the shade's geometry at one end of the facade segment and closes the shade completely on the other end for a more dynamic facade appearance.